Hey everybody and welcome to today's Grace Report. We're gonna start off with a story that um, kind of took the teen mom world by storm. Um, and it was a little bit shocking, but not really considering who it is. So Ryan Edwards, who is Bentley's dad from Teen Mom OG, and he's being investigated for animal cruelty and it actually looks really, really, really serious. So for those who don't know, Ryan essentially went on social media like unprompted for literally no reason and posted a photo of himself like hanging holding up two guns like the ultimate badass and said that like he was hunting um feral or wild cats um out in his neighborhood this obviously pissed off a lot of animal lovers who followed him so enough people spread the message across the internet and to the right organizations that he has um come under investigation so according to the ashley's reality roundup um he is facing an aggravated animal cruelty charge um which actually is a felony in his state of tennis see a search warrant had been filed and executed on his parents home which is where he's living let's just pause right here and wonder why the hell this grown-ass man is still living in his parents house when his child is pushing 10 years old like that's a serious problem especially considering every other guy has moved out a lot of the guys have used the money that they gained from teen mom um, and bought their own home so Ryan what the hell are you spending all your money on that you're still living with your parents uh, while your child is like hitting the double digits. I think that's very ridiculous at this point. Um, but anyway, back to the story here at hand. Apparently they got enough evidence to further their investigation even more. And I'm just sitting here wondering what kind of evidence would this dumbass leave at his parents' home? Like, did he leave cats' bodies under like the garage and stuff like that? Like in little cupboards where guns should be? Like, really Ryan? You have all sorts of evidence lead, um, linking you to the killing of cats? What are you doing? This isn't even your home for you to be keeping dead cat bodies in like Bob Citrillo has been really outspoken in particular, and he is actually the director of the Humane Educational Society. Um, so this is what he had to say about Ryan and the whole um, bit. He says that other things we found on the property definitely lead us to believe that this was done with intent. So this means that the organization believes that Ryan, um, they say that it's safe to say that Ryan was luring the animals onto his property with the intent to kill them, which makes this whole thing even worse. I mean, it's one thing to go after animals that you feel are destro destroying your property or are dangerous to your neighborhood, but when you're just like luring animals onto your property with the intent to kill them, there is something seriously wrong with your head. And what I'm wondering at this point were, where were Mimi and Larry? They seem like really, really reason, Mimi, Jen, sorry, and Larry, they seem like really, really, really reasonable people. And like if gunshots are flying around in their backyard, I'm pretty sure they'd hear it. I don't know how often Bentley's at that home, but like where was he during all this? It's just all so, so odd. And it's weird that he was able to continue doing this for so long. Um, obviously, you can assume that he was doing this before he was reporting it. He just got bold one day and decided to report it on the internet, but it's safe to assume he's been doing it for quite some time. So I'm wondering where Jen and Larry had been this whole entire time. Were their hands tied up watching all of Macy's Miracle Children? The director, Bob Cicillo, actually continued on to say that the organization does not take Edward's claim lightly and um, they have every intention of seeing the former reality star prosecuted to the full extent of the law if these horrific statements are found to be true. Um, let's just pause and check out the wording there. He said, former reality star. So I'm wondering why he's saying former, or like where he's getting that from. I guess we'll have to wait and see, wait and see as we follow this uh, really, really odd case. Let's see, Ryan, he appears to be in Florida right now, according to the Ashley's reality roundup. And he's also deleted all the photos and videos and texts whatever he was stupid enough to put up from the internet, which is actually really funny because with all of his followers, um, anything he puts up is pretty much permanent, right? So like it's been screen capped, reblogged, reddited, like everything, the whole bit. So there was really no point of that, but whatever, Ryan. Okay, so the Ashley says that if Ryan is convicted of the charge, he will be placed on Tennessee's animal abuse registry. That seems like a really light slap on the wrist considering it seems that he may have killed more than one cat, if any. Um, like just to be put on an abuse registry is like kind of like, eh, whatever. I don't even think he's the type to have pets. He's not like the other teen mom castmates who just go through animals. So like, that's not really gonna affect him. I'm wondering if there are any fines, jail time, things like that. Um, like any real records of you um, 
when you do these sorts of things. How do you feel about this thing, this whole case surrounding Ryan? Do you feel like he has a right to shoot animals that get onto his property? Do you feel like he was purposely luring them onto his property? Do you believe his story that these were actually feral cats or do you think that he's just um, a killer looking for an outlet? Leave all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, let's chat. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you want. I'm Grace Report on everything except Snapchat where I'm Grace underscore unknown. Thank you so much for watching and we'll chat soon.